Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are at Aarhus University in Denmark in search of masters and PhD opportunities. So this university has several departments with several courses taught in English. So this is the list of the courses arranged in alphabetical order. So you can choose the course that suits your background and your interest. You can also use the filter function here of faculty to get the major faculties of arts, health, natural sciences, technical sciences. I think this is the business school. You could also filter it with your interest. So there you go, different master's courses at Aarhus University. So what about the scholarships that I talked about? So for the scholarship, most EU students study free of charge in Denmark. So if you're from the EU, you wouldn't need to pay anything. But if you're a non-EU student, usually you can study free, but then you might have to pay for your living cost. However, there are scholarships here at this university that can cover your living expenses as well. So there are some scholarships here. Tuition waivers includes monthly grants towards living stipend as well. And um, these are the different faculties and this is what they offer. Faculty of Arts, we've seen Faculty of Arts here. So the Faculty of Arts, these are the departments on the Faculty of Arts. So Faculty of Arts gives full tuition and a monthly grant for living expenses. The business school, you can go back here and check for the business school. Check for departments under the business school. Yeah, these departments are eligible for tuition fee waiver and monthly grant towards living expenses. However, for the natural sciences and the technical sciences, we only have tuition fee waiver. Nothing was said about um, living expenses. So to apply for this, I believe you are automatically considered. Immediately you apply for one of the eligible courses. If they think your application is strong enough, you're given the scholarship. So I don't think there's a different application process. It is written here, when you apply for admission, your application will automatically be assessed with a view to a possible scholarship, along with your academic, along with our academic assessment of your qualifications. So you can see here, so it's very simple, apply for one of the eligible courses with a good academic achievement, you'll be considered for um, any of these scholarships. So just go to the course you're interested in and see the applications requirements. There are different courses here. Check for your own course and see the documents you have to put together. There are lots of information on this website. So I don't think you'll be left in the dark. For instance, agrobiology. So it contains here your basic details about the course, the applications requirements and every other thing you need to know. And let's look at the deadlines quickly, the important dates. So there are two major deadlines. So if you resume in January, February 2023, the deadline for non-EU students is the 15th of September. If you're from the EU, 15th of October. For this year's September intake, that's 2022, the deadline was in January, as you can see already. So this is past, but you can still meet this one, the deadline of the 15th of September. So that's it. In case you need help with any of the documents that you need to provide, for instance, you might be told to like write a CV, write a statement of purpose, write and get recommendation letters. There are videos on this channel on how to write 
those or to come up with those documents in the first place so check my channel on how to write those documents and you wouldn't have to worry so i also talked about phd opportunities as well so i'll be leaving a link to this um website in the description box of this video so for the phd they also arranged according to different faculties so faculties of arts here you have business school you have health and you have the natural sciences technical sciences i noticed that most of the most of the phd opportunities will open either early august or late either early august or september yeah, most of them would open early august september um regarding their deadline i've checked most of the deadlines of all of them so if you're thinking of a phd at this university just keep your eye on this web page and check constantly for an announcement what they call an open call to check when it would open here this one says august august 2022 and then um, the school of health so keep an eye on this page and check regularly and you might just catch one of the phd offers phd in denmark usually like in many scandinavian countries is considered um like a full-time job so you're employed by the department and you're considered like a staff and that's it guys i hope this was useful masters and phd opportunities at aos university in denmark so as usual we cannot wait to celebrate you start applying the application season is upon us take advantage of the numerous opportunities shared on this channel and if you've not subscribed already remember to do so and i will see you at the top sooner than later bye bye for now